point, the script for the disgraced senator returning to Capitol Hill is pretty well understood. If you're Republican Senator Larry Craig, having just pled guilty after getting caught in a public sex thing at an airport men's room. If you're Republican Senator David Vitter, having just admitted to very serious sin involving the hookers. If you're Republican Senator Ted Stevens, having just been indicted on seven felony counts. If you're Republican Senator John Ensign, having just called a press conference in Las Vegas to admit to an affair with a campaign staffer who's married to one of your Senate office staffers. If you are in any of these scenarios, you do the same thing, apparently. Apologetic press conference, followed by no further comment to the press, followed by receiving a round of applause at the weekly Senate Republican luncheon. Yeah, apparently that's what they do. Today, John Ensign surfaced on Capitol Hill for the first time since his press conference announcing the affair with his former staffer. He addressed his Republican colleagues at their weekly luncheon. He reportedly was applauded for doing so. And at least one fellow Republican senator, Bob Corker of Tennessee, was willing to tell reporters that there have been, quote, no discussions among Republicans about asking Ensign to resign. Corker even said he's heard nothing but support for Senator Ensign among Senate Republicans and said that he and other Republican senators, quote, appreciate the way he was really stand up about this. Which is a little awkward given that since Ensign's press conference about the affair, it has emerged that he used Republican Party money to put the 19-year-old son of his mistress on the payroll of the Republican campaign committee Ensign controlled, and that he doubled his mistress's salary, both at his own political action committee and on his campaign committee, while she was sleeping with him. And that apparently both his mistress and, his, uh, and, and her husband were fired by Ensign. The husband says because of the end of the affair. I guess that counts as stand up, according to Senator Corker. Tomorrow, the nonprofit, nonpartisan organization, Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, will file a complaint with the Senate Ethics Committee. The organization's director, Melanie Sloan, told us today that the complaint focuses on Senator Ensign's employment issues and campaign finance rules. Quote, it looks like Senator Ensign has violated Senate rules by terminating two employees due to an affair with one of them. There are serious questions about whether or not the senator violated campaign finance rules. We did call Senator Ensign's office for comment today as well. But he never called us back. Shocker, I know.